we're going to talk about the pretrial hearing. Come with me and I'll tell you some tips and tricks about the pretrial hearing. Generally after the arraignment and before the preliminary hearing, there may be one, two, sometimes three or more pretrial hearings. Those pretrial hearings are to take care of a number of issues. What I like to focus the pretrial hearing on is discovery. Now, I think most attorneys will agree with me. In criminal cases, there is not a lot of discovery. It's not like a civil case where there is a lot of discovery. However, I treat cases as if they were civil cases and I request a lot of discovery in cases. And I take care of that before the preliminary hearing and before the trial at these pretrial hearings. Let me give you an example. I'm doing a case right now where a young man was uh, accused of domestic violence. And I've asked for pretrial discovery and I have received nothing from the district attorney's office. At each hearing, I've brought this up to the judge and to the court. Finally, I've gotten some headway and I'm getting information about the alleged victim that I never would have had had I not asked for it. Several months ago, I did a trial um, and my client was accused of sexually abusing another person. And had we lost the case, he would have had to register as a sex abuse perpetrator. But the case was won primarily because of pretrial discovery. You see, the victim had sued my client civilly and had collected several thousands of dollars. Although my client never knew about the civil case, the victim and his attorney sued and focused on getting the money and settling the case with my client's employer. But here is the most important thing. The victim told the police a long story about what happened on the night of the incident. However, that was in direct contradiction to the victim's deposition that was taken in the civil case. The victim told police ABC happened, but told, under penalty of perjury, told a story of CDE at the time of at the time of his deposition in the civil case. But when you match the stories up, they don't match and there were significant discrepancies. Although I never could prove this, but for a long time I think the people in the district attorney may have known about this deposition and just didn't give it to us because my client didn't know anything about the lawsuit. Although he was named in it, he was never served because the victim and his civil attorney settled with, the, settled with my client's employer. So you see, it's very important that you get this discovery and you keep fighting for it. Because at the time of trial, I cross-examined the victim and he told a certain story. I put the police officer who rolled that on the case um, and first interviewed the victim and I put on the stand the police detective. They all told the story ABC. Then I presented the victim's testimony under oath that was after the incident but before the criminal law trial and the defendant said something completely different and a lot of the things that he said were materially different from the original story he told. It's important to do the discovery. If you have any questions please give me a call 888-888-6582 and I'll answer any questions you have about discovery. It's a free initial consultation or see us at the web on the uh, link below where you can download one of my books on criminal law and a special report on criminal law. The next email that you're going to receive is going to be about the preliminary hearing. I call this the first and probably the most important hearing in the entire criminal process. For your free consultation, call the law offices of Vincent W. Davis and Associates today. 1-888-888 6582. That's 1 888 
888-688-6582. Thank you for watching. Thank you.